Beautiful Alaska morning, Eagle River. You can see Denali peeking through the clouds over there. Definitely winter is upon us. How many of you out there have some listings that haven't sold yet and your clients are talking about taking the property off the market and maybe renting it out or putting it back on the market in the spring? Hi, this is Paul Calloway with Unity Home Group and EXP Realty. Just wanna give you a couple of tips on how to have conversations with your sellers right now to help them meet their goals and maybe avoid the misconceptions that are out there um, in reference to our, our winter market in real estate in Alaska. So the first thing I would say is get the numbers out. Um, sit down with them and go over how much it's going to cost them to hold the property if they take the property off the market, leave it vacant over the winter. What's their holding cost going to be and what's that going to add up to? And what do they think they're going to be able to sell it for in the spring? And then show them the, you know, the comparison. Uh, this is what you're going to spend versus, you know, this is what we could probably sell it for now. Maybe we talk about a pricing strategy, talk talk about reducing the price now, selling it for a little less than you might might be able to sell it for in the spring, but avoid those holding charges, right? And all the risks that go involved with or go along with that as well. And then number two, uh, get the numbers out, show them what properties or the number of properties actually sell in the winter. Um, in their market, they might be surprised. A lot of people, again, think that homes just don't sell in the winter uh, in our market, and it's really not true. You know, I had the best, one of the best months in my career last last winter, and it really just depends on the the price range and the location. But properties still sell in the winter, um, you know, in the Anchorage, Eagle River, and and Matsu Valley area. So again, I think a lot of it is just fighting against the the myth conceptions. You know, people they're going to get advice from all kinds of different. Uh, locations and, and sources, you know, from family, friends, and sometimes it gets really confusing. So I think just sitting down with your clients, going over the, the facts, showing them the numbers uh, will really help. And again, it may help you to get the property sold, help them meet their goals. Because remember, if they're, if they're listing their property with you, they really don't want to be a landlord, right? Otherwise, they would have just rented it out to start with. And most likely, they really don't want their property to sit over the winter. Um, they want to get it sold, but they may just feel like this is their only option. So help them see that there's other options out there. There may be some, uh, some great ways, great strategies to get it sold now. Hope this has been helpful and look forward to talking to you in the next video.